Hello, I'm excited to have you here. If you're looking for help making a passive income or starting a side hustle, that's what I'm here to do. My name's Philip from Daily Art Hub, and today I'm gonna walk you through an intro to the popular image editing software called Canva. However, before I begin the tutorial, I'd like to ask you to please like and subscribe to the channel. It's literally the best way to help me out and make it so I can keep bringing you these ideas, tips, and tutorial videos to help you on your journey in earning a passive income. In the last few years, Canva has had a massive explosion in popularity, and it seems to be the go-to software for editing graphics. We'll be using Canva in many of our upcoming tutorial videos, so as a precursor before I roll out those videos, I wanted to make this video to ensure you have a beginner grasp on how to use Canva's basic functions and features. If you walk along with me in creating today's shirt design, I really believe it'll be a great way for you to gain the courage and comfort level to use Canva in a more advanced way to create your own original shirt designs. Okay, let's jump in and get started. So it's getting close to time to start designing things for the holidays. Let's get into showing you some excellent ideas for things that you can do with holiday graphics from Daily Art Hub. Here we are at dailyarthub.com. It's the largest and best website for commercial use art for print-on-demand products, Kindle publishing, craft creation, and anything else you can think of. So let's take a look at some of the holiday graphic sets that we can find here. There's two ways to do so. We can either go to the Christmas category at the top menu, or we can do a search at the top for Christmas. Let's start by going to the Christmas category. Here at the top menu, after clicking on it, you'll see page after page of holiday graphics ready for use. We literally have anything you could ever need here. I really like this Christmas wreath alphabet, and I'd like to walk you through creating a holiday print-on-demand t-shirt using this alphabet. Remember, all the graphics you find at Daily Art Hub can be used to make and sell products, including print-on-demand products, which is a very easy, no-cost way to start making extra money with no investment. Let me show you how I create a holiday shirt using this alphabet, first by bringing it into Canva. First, let me download the alphabet into my computer. Then let's head over to Canva. You can click on the link down below to get to Canva. In case you're not familiar with Canva, Canva is a widely popular imaging editing app that is totally web-based and completely free. The web-based part just means you don't have to install any software to use it. You just browse to their website and you can do all your graphic editing right there in your web browser. Anyway, tons of people use it and this video will also serve as a bit of an intro into Canva. Okay, so in Canva, we're gonna create a t-shirt. I'm gonna create a t-shirt that I can use in my current favorite print on demand supplier, which is Printify. All print-on-demand sliders have their own dimensions for shirt sizes. So in order to know what size of image to make in Canva, I need to head over to Printify and get the specifics on the image size I need to create. Here we are at Printify. I'll show you how to find the specific size we need to create our graphic over at Canva. Once at Printify, the easiest way to do so is to go to Catalog at the top, choose the shirt you wanna make. I'm gonna make a men's shirt. I always use the Bella Canvas 3001 shirt, which is the most popular shirt that print on demand sellers use. So click here and then scroll down a bit and find the provider you use. For me, I always use Monster Digital. So then click start designing. And right here is where you can see the print area size, which is 4,500 by 5,100 pixels. All right, now that we have that info, let's head back over to Canva. If you haven't done so, you'll need to create a new account. Once done and you log in, this is the main screen that you'll see. You notice here where it says custom size. Click custom size, and we're gonna enter the print size needed to make our t-shirt at Printify, which we found that to be 4,500 by 5,100 pixels. The dropdown here lets you choose a measurement to set your design size. Notice there's inches, centimeters, millimeters, and what we are gonna use, which is pixels. Make sure this is set to pixels and enter 4,500 in the width and 5,100 in the height, and then click create new design. For those who are 100% new to Canva, let me show you a brief overview of where things are in Canva. Here on the right side of the screen, you have your workspace where you would create the t-shirt image. On the left, you'll see tabs for template, elements, uploads, and text. If you go to more, you'll see some other tabs that can be added just by clicking on them. For example, Let's add the background tab. Click on background here, and now you see it's in our regular lineup of tab selections. 
What we are going to start with here is the Upload tab. Click that now, and then let's import our Christmas wreath alphabet letters. Click the Upload Files button and locate the folder on your computer where you downloaded the graphics from dailyarthub.com. For our shirt, we're going to be making a holiday t-shirt design, so we're going to spell out the word jolly. So choose the J, the L, the O, and the Y. You can select multiple letters at once by holding down the Command key on the Mac or the Control key on Windows. Once you have all the letters in your Uploads tab, let's start by clicking on the letter J, which will add it to our workspace. Let's first start by moving and scaling down the J. I'm first going to scale it down to about a thousand pixels high, and then I'm going to move it all the way over to the left of the workspace. The idea here is to make room to fit in all the letters of the word Jolly into our current workspace. After we have scaled and moved the J, let's next click on the O in our uploads area. Once again, this drops the O into our workspace. The way I'm going to scale this letter down is a bit different than before. Rather than setting it to a specific pixel size, I'm going to use the already sized letter J to guide the size of the O. First, I'm going to scale it down so it's visibly just a bit larger than the J. Then I'm going to drag it so the bottom of the O lines up with the J. When the bottom of the two letters are aligned, you'll see a dotted guideline appear, and you'll also feel the O snap into place. These are two indications that the bottoms are aligned. Let's leave the O here on this line. Note when you remove your hold on the letter O, the guideline will disappear. Next, we're going to grab onto the top corner, hold down click while dragging it until a dotted guideline appears, indicating that the tops of the two letters are now aligned. Now you'll see the two letters are the same size and we can move the O over closer to the J. Now I'm going to click on the letter L in the upload section to bring it into our workspace. Scale it down just a bigger than the O. Use the guideline to align the bottom of the O and L together. Scale down the height by dragging the corner until you have a guideline matching the tops. And then move it next to the O. To bring in the next letter, which is another L, I'm going to make sure that the L we just arranged is highlighted. And then up at the top right corner toolbar that appears, I'm going to click Duplicate. It'll duplicate as the same size as its source, so all we need to do is pull it into place. The guidelines will be there to help you. And the last letter to bring into our workspace is the Y. Let's click it in the upload area and size it down some. Then as we did with the previous letters, line up the bottoms with the guidelines and scale from the top corner until the guidelines indicate that's the same size as the other letters. For the letter Y, you'll notice there are no leaves coming off the top of the letters like the other letters have here. For this reason, I'm going to scale the Y down just a bit smaller than the other letters, visually aligning the actual tops of the letters. Also, because of the contour of the letter Y, I'm going to move it a little bit closer than where it snaps into place, so the previous letter sort of nests under the space of the Y. This is a good example of how the guidelines are just as the name implies, guides only, and you should always consider further adjustments based on your perception. Now that we have all our letters laid out spelling the word jolly, and we're happy with the size of the letters and the spacing, let's select all the letters by holding Command A on the Mac or Control A on the Windows. Now, after all these are selected, you can drag the corner and increase the total size of the design. One last thing, in order to show you another quick feature of Canva, let's add some text to our shirt design by using Canva's built-in fonts. Let's add the words, tis the season to be, above the word jolly in a cursive style script. Over on the left, let's choose text. In the search box, I'm gonna type the word cursive. You'll see a list of tons of great fonts you can use for this. I'm gonna choose the first one called Howl. You can see the font appears very small. You can drag it larger or type a numerical value in the font size box here. Once I have it where I can see it, I'm gonna click inside the text box, delete the current letters, and type tis the season to be dot, dot, dot. Then I'm gonna scale it down more by dragging the corners and also extend the horizontal diameter of the text box by click holding and dragging the center bars here. This will keep your text all on the same horizontal line rather than adding a line break. Move it into place and there you have it. Our shirt design looks really good and is ready to add onto our shirt and our print on demand partner website.
You can also add the design you created to any of the number of products offered at whatever print-on-demand supplier you're using. This design will look great on coffee mugs, stickers, masks, or even, of course, Christmas ornaments. Be creative and try it all and see what sells the best. There's no way to lose here. Also, take your time and use art from Daily Art Hub to really build compositions that start to take on your own personality. When you create and sell something that you feel proud of, customers can sense that passion in your work and it helps them to connect to your products. Confidence and believing in your products is one of the keys to success. Anyway, I hope this video has given you a great head start on using Canva to create your own t-shirt and print-on-demand product designs. If you have any questions on this video, suggestions for other videos, or even just want to say hello, please do so in the comments. I'd love to chat. Also, as I said earlier, I could really use your subscribes and likes to show YouTube you're enjoying these videos. I hope you got some use out of this video, and I want you to always remember that you can do this. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.